we are going to be playing Gold Rush. And, oh my god, I'm probably going to um, rage quit because I've heard this game is insanely hard. Um, we'll soon see. Soon see what, uh, what it has in store for us. Oh, for well, not doing that bad. I was kind of hoping for a full screen here, but, uh, can I? Yeah, we go. The Sober Form is proud to present. The life and the times of a great American hero, Jared Wilson. A young, ambitious city slicker, born and raised in urban America. Quite frankly, he's perfectly firm and proper. Caught in the trap of 9 to 5, is this all life has to offer? There has to be more. This man is ready for action, as at this moment, no longer will he accept only dreaming of adventure. This is Gold Rush. It's one of one of Sierra's older games. Um, before they did voice acting, before they did icon based, it's basically using text based. I don't even know if the mouse is used in this game at all. But you know, I may have to type things, which you know, me and typing. Not too good with that sort of thing. I grew up, you know, using, like, icon-based a lot, so... Having to type things... Mm. Anyway, Gold Rush, created designed by Ken and Doug something. Written by Ken McNeil. Graphics by Doug McNeil. Developed system by Jeff Stevenson and Chris Iden. Graphics utility by Robert Heitman. Music by Anita Scott. Yeah, Gold Rush. Yeah, Brooklyn Heights. Okay, so... Can we walk using our mouse? Or is it... No, we have to use the keyboard. Okay. Well, uh, first things first, let's look around. I don't know, I don't know what I'm supposed to do, actually, because... Alright, look. You're in the heart of suburban Brooklyn. The year is 1848. Okay, I don't want to go this way. I don't know. I don't know where I want to go. I don't know what I need to do. I'm feeling I could die if I get hit by that. Um, vehicle, right? Let's see. I'm going to find out real quick, because this is just testing. I didn't die. How dare you, Sierra? I'm supposed to die when I get hit by a Stagecoach. It's in the rules. You know? It's a Sierra game. I'm supposed to die. What? I didn't die? A, a rude game. You're supposed to kill me. It, I, I, I demand to die. It's a Sierra game. I demand to die, game. Come on. Where am I supposed to go? Oops. Rule is not understood. Yeah, I know. There are many houses in Brooklyn, but this one's a special place in your heart. Okay, let's go in there. Can we go through here? Oh, open the... Open the gate. Oh, it's locked. Well, damn it. Not so much for that. Um, I do something wrong. Am I supposed to... Get money so I can buy it? I mean, I have no idea what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing. I've never played this game before, so... Just be like walking around and shit. Looking around. This is the downtown Brooklyn Park. The gazebo and flowers catch the eye of those that walk by. Okay. Um, look at gazebo. You were playing around the gazebo as a child. You would lose your candy and coins to the white cracks of the gazebo floor. Oh, oh. Look under the zebo. Ah! Here we go. You see the sparkle of something shiny. Ah, yes, I'm supposed to look as a gold coin of the gazebo. 
Eight. Hmm. You stretch out as far as possible. The door comes out beyond your reach, but finally you're able to grasp it. All right, we got four points for that. Woo hoo! Okay, now that we, uh, how do we save? Save my current game. Again, I don't really know if. Okay. Um. One. Oh, oops. Okay, so if I. Oh, okay. Using our slot if you want to save the game, pressing the saving slot. Okay. Okay. Just one. Okay, period to continue. Alright, we got a gold coin. We got four points for that. So awesome to us, I guess. That was just to get a little dinky gold coin. Are there any more coins? Let's see. Why did I lose a point? Why am I losing points now? Okay, I just lost points. Why did I lose points? Or not? This is the Brooklyn Bank of Post Office, right? You come to the post office something. It's a counter between you and the mailboxes. Uh, is it that all? Okay, there we go. Nice it worked. What can I do for you? Um, mail? Um, ask about mail. Okay. Ask mail. Uh, I don't know. Um, mail for me? What do you, I don't know. Fuck! God, this game. Um, shit. Um, talk. What can I do for you? Uh, help. That's, that's not the help I was asking. Uh, shit. Stars and. Okay, look, talk. No, talk. What can you do? Um, money? Oh. you want. Oh, this game. Uh, and I already lost points. I had four points and then I lost them. Like, how the fuck does that happen? How did I lose points? From just walking a few spaces. I, I mean, I, I don't understand. I don't get it. There's so many stores to see. Okay, let's see the loops. There we go. Yeah, I got four points. I'm losing points. Again, why did I lose points going that way? Wow, this game really wants to punish you. I mean, like, if you don't go the right direction, it's like, eh, eh, not happening. There's a bell on the counter between the mailboxes. Yeah, that's not the counter I want to look at. 
table. There's nothing unusual. Look on table. Damn. Whatever. Ooh. This game. Cool. Wanted dead or alive. Zach Pitts. Use caution. He's dangerous. Forward. Okay. That's all though. Just the one thing. Uh, okay. Open door. Russian employees on. Okay, now. Nah. Okay, whatever. Okay, I don't really know what they want me to do. Control. Let's see there. Control and go to the next truck scene. That did nothing. That did nothing. Why is that not doing anything? What's that supposed to do anyway? Okay, why did I lose points? Like, why did I lose points for just going... I don't understand this. This game is, um, talk about brutal, man, like, wow, I, I'm going to regret playing this blindly, aren't I? Yeah. Especially since I'm terrible at, like, games where you just have to type things. I prefer to, like, you know, use a mouse. And this game is like, no, no mouse for you. Oof. You're outside the business office of Brooklyn Union Star. Okay. I guess we're going in there, I guess. Again, I don't know what I'm supposed to do because I have never played this game before. So, um, yeah. At least I'll have to open the door to talk. Okay. There's so much about that. Okay, now how do I, uh, this must be where we work then. Okay. Uh, can I talk to this person? I can't see Yeah, I'll take this soon. Um, quick job. I got two points for quitting my job. Was I supposed to do that? You got me, man. I, I really don't know. I mean, obviously, we need to quit our job to get the to get, get money. But still, I, I, I don't know, like, if I was supposed to do that or not. I got two points for doing it, though. <laughs> There's only 250 points in this game, though, but... And I've only got, like, two points... And also remember that I lost one point for like walking a certain direction in the game uh, after I picked up the gold coin. So I, I literally don't know what I'm fucking doing. This is um, kind of annoying. I mean, I mean, I get it. It's a classic. I get it. But see, the thing about classics is that. If they weren't classics to you back in the day, you're not going to think too highly of them now. And this is one of those games I never played back in the day. So, yeah, it's probably not going to appeal to me that much. If I had, like, you know, warm feelings about it back in the day, I'd probably be like, ooh, Gold Rush, yeah, but because I never played this game back in the day, it's just one of those games that I just go, um... Why did this game get so critically framed? Because, I mean, yeah, I understand. It's a classic, and, you know, back in the day, this was, like, awesome, you know? But see, I was raised on the generation where we used mouse-based movement, and we, t we used icon-based, you know? So, uh, nowadays, when you have to type things, it's just kind of... Uh, 
posting. This is the impressive interior of the Brooklyn Bank. There's activity where you look. Okay, am I supposed to do something here? Welcome to Brooklyn Bank. Okay. Put coin. Okay, I've seen that one. Those clothes. We'll see. It. This one then? Uh, money. Uh, deposit. Oh. Damn it. Well, then what the hell am I supposed to do with the money, the coin that I picked up? Shit, dude, I don't know. I don't fucking know, man. This is, um... This game is kind of... Like I said, it's just kind of... I don't know. Maybe I can go out the door. Or I went that way. Can I go out this door? Okay, I can go out this door, I can go in that door. So I can go out this door, and I can go out this door. Can I go up the stairs for any reason? Do I need to go up the stairs for any reason? Again, I don't know if I'm supposed to go through, go here or not. Open the door. Just walk out to it. No, not that door. Open the gate. Open it. Well, yeah, I tried it, and it won't let me open it. Game. The fuck you saying open it for? Whatever. Bottom. Okay, whatever. I should go ahead and save again since I've got some more points. For quitting my job. Again, I don't know if I'm supposed to do that. Because... I've never played this game before, so I might have like screwed myself out of finishing the game because this is a Sierra game. Sierra games are like, hey, you did something stupid back in like step at like the first area of the game, and now you're penalized forever. You will never be able to finish this game now. You know? Yeah, that's the way Sierra games are. So yeah, I probably, I probably screwed myself. Maybe I wasn't supposed to quit my job. I mean, they gave me the option of doing it, but again, this is a Sierra game, so I may have done the wrong thing. <sighs> Ugh. God, I'm, I'm getting back flashbacks of King's Quest V before I had a walkthrough or a hit book, you know? Yes, did you know that you're supposed to, like, not eat that custard pie, because if you eat that custard pie, you basically screwed yourself out of the rest of the game. Yeah. Oh, did you know you're supposed to pick up that, um, that gleaming hook in, like, a, um, that one screen of the game? Guess what? If you didn't get picked that up, you basically can't finish the game now. Yeah, that that's the kind of insanity that you had to deal with in King's Quest Fire. Okay, look at poster. Oh, I got points for that. Buy ticket from land at 12 Front Street. Okay, but again, um, what am I supposed to buy it with? A coin? I don't think that's enough money. That surely is not enough money, right? I mean, Wait a minute, can I withdraw money? Do I have any money in my bank account? That's something I should go look at. In this game. Because I haven't even checked to see if I have any money. Then I can withdraw. I mean, probably not. I'm probably penniless. I probably have no jack. I probably have jack and shit when it comes to money in this game. But, I mean, because I picked up that coin and, like, he was all excited about that. So, he probably doesn't have any money. But, we'll see. We'll see if he has money. Okay, let's let's talk to ask about. Okay. Yes, need to draw. Where's your account number? Oh, for fuck's sake, account number! Oh, where are you supposed to get that? Where are you supposed to, be supposed to get your account number, game? I I just oh my god. Really? 
And he's not authorized to look at Mac. Oh my god, this is insane. This is nuts, man. Where am I supposed to find the account number? Bullshit. Ugh, god, game. I gotta find the account number now. And where do I find that shit? Account number? Hmm. Well, who is authorized? I demand to speak to the manager. Talk to guy. Okay, I don't know what the hell you people want. I can't go that way, and I can't talk to those people over there. Are they just decoration men? I'm supposed to just push door. I don't know. I don't know what I mean. Which gate? What do you mean? I don't know. I was hoping this game would understand. Oh my god, this is frustrating as fuck. I mean... You know, I'm gonna play this game for two hours, but that's all it's gonna be is a two hour video. I may... This is a key emphasis on May. May do it again next week using a walkthrough and getting myself through this game because, oh boy, I've only got seven points. Already it's frustrating the fuck out of me because I don't know where to find my account number. I'm guessing it's one of those copy protection bullshit things that they had in Sierra games back in the day. But I don't know where I'm supposed to look it up at. You know? Was there documentation that came with this game originally because it's not there now. There was no documentation. So maybe I have to look it up. So fuck it. I'm gonna quit out of the game and I'm gonna look up the fucking account number. And then I'm gonna save it on my phone so I don't have to fucking keep the thing. Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna save because I didn't really do much. Okay. Let's go find this. Let's go to the Steam thing. Not even do that. That's not what I meant to do. What I meant to do was go into the store here, type in Gold Rush Classic. I mean, it's very positive, yes, but, um... Original user guide, okay. And where do I get the user's guide? Where is the user's guide? I need to find the user's guide so I can, you know, I'm guessing that's where I find the stupid... Exactly. Thank you. This game is super annoying if you don't know what to expect. Exactly. Part of it is the primitive mechanics and other data is one click game where you click on location the character. Move there. Exactly. Thank you. That's what some stock character. What you do? <sighs> exactly. If you didn't pick up a certain something on level one, well, you know, you're level ten if you're finishing this game. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that chart was pretty cool. I won't, won't deny that. But see, the thing about this is, is that the game 
is rather annoying in the fact that how do I get the how do I use my like Gold Rush Classic. Okay, here's where I can probably find the information that I need. Guides. No, I don't need a walkthrough. I mean, yeah, I do need a walkthrough, but first I want to look at my... Browse local files. Okay, documents. Maybe it's in here. The manual. Yeah, maybe this is where we need. Let's see. Manual. What's it say? User's Guide. Chapter 1 Getting Started. Gold Rush Basics. Welcome to Gold Rush. Yeah, I know. I already know about all this, but what I need to know is... Give you, the chapter tells you what you need to put on a computer. Yeah, I already need that shit. I already know how to install the fucking thing. What I'm looking for is information about how to beat the game, or at the very least, where's that information I need? Yes, that's not important. Go to basics. Starting, restarting. You already know how to do all that. I don't need that information. Status line, pull down menus, text command line, help screens, keyboard control. That's not information I need to know either. What I'm looking for is something that's very specific. Okay, one of them, blah, blah, blah. Oh, this is the background of the character. Okay, Jared Wilson was born in Brooklyn, New York in 1816. Marsha and Martha Wilson. Jared was an older brother named Jake. When Jake and Jared were children, they used to play together by the arm one come out to the divine secret codes. One of the favorite games were like this. One would come out with a piece of paper that would place in the right position with an object of writing on it, like a book or sign, would build letters through the holes. Then the elder would take the paper, put it on the object, move it around to find the right position, and figure out what the secret message was by on scrambling the revealed letters and forming words. One day, the boys' eyes were suddenly changed forever, and both their parents were killed in a house during buggy accident. Although Jake and Jerry were young at the time, Jerry was 13. They could still remember them, both their mother and father were very... What the fuck? They both lost their parents? They lost both their parents? God damn! This guy sucks! When both their mother and father were in the cemetery south of Brooklyn, Jerry was sent to the bring flowers to fix the town. After their parents died, Jake and Jerry were taken in by an old friend of the family named Mr. Quayle, who was a banker. Mr. Pro started to count for Jared's bank. Okay, that's what we need to know about right there. For Jared's bank, and 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 Several years ago, Jake got into trouble with the law, but through no fault of his own, and had to be in Brooklyn. He will never return to New York, but promised he would mail a letter to Jared if anything's been kept Hmm. Since I found out that Brooklyn was never sold, Jared knows it lives there alone. The California Gold Rush, 1849. Life is normal in the farms and the cities of the United States of the year 1849. People were going to the usual routine like their parents and grandparents had done before them, then it happened. It was inevitable. In California, gold had been laying there for who knows how many thousands of years, just when the family was finally discovered by James Wilson Marshall in the American River. The new discovery took some time to reach the east. It came at first to rumors that a ship from Cape Horn up the Atlantic, busy with their own aspirations. Eastern Atlantic had much credibility, but these whisperings in the early months of 1848. They had no time for the exaggerated tales for a constant coming from other parts of the West. As a consequence, the first rush of the diggings were mostly comprised of local folks. East was finally awakened to the rush from a letter from California Governor Richard Barnes Mason to the War Department announced there's more gold in this country drained by the Sacramento rivers than pay the cost of Lake War of Mexico a hundred times over. Thus, the rumor came fact. Beyond any reasonable doubt, the gold is there for the taking. In the madness and enthusiasm, no one considered the hazard of the undertaking exactly. Everyone Everyone men abandoned their families, business, and said common sense or how to remote little known land with the process of riches back even the humblest 
and most of the experience of pioneers. Exactly. It was kind of like winning the lottery. There was very little chance you were actually going to do it, but some people like risk their entire lives, you know, thinking, oh, if I, if I just move here, I, you know, if I keep buying that damn ticket, I will eventually make millions and millions of dollars. Uh, spoiler alert, they never, they never, rarely, rarely happens. Everyone who was going to print which have some of the property possessing the mission to find the expedition. Exactly. The only information I've sent them include the California Gold Rush package that told them what the gold regions were and showed the California difference they could take to get there. There were three common routes to California. One option was travel over land. The overland route or truck was the least expensive and probably most perilous. It was a long, difficult journey through Indian territory, rugged terrain, and extreme conditions. Another option would take a ship from the east coast of the United States all the way around the southernmost point of South America. Cape Horn and back up along the west coast of California. The last of the three routes in the tail traveled a ship to the isthmus of Panama, crossing the thin strip of land that the Atlantic and Pacific or South Foot, and then traveling the ship again up the west coast of California. A recent quarter million men reached this land of plenty during the five years, 1842 to 1843, that comprised the proper, producing an extraordinary amount of gold with the west westward, took a heavy toll on those persons, many pay for the Dream of their lives. Okay, playing gold brush. Okay, I want to know about. I still haven't found out my information about the bank account. Hmm. Okay. And we're going to do it. Type of the uh, L. Okay. Okay, this is, might be useful. Press the tab key, see what is Karen. You want to still learn Karen 2 inventory options. A house key and $15 cash. Ooh, okay, I didn't even know I had that in my, in my inventory, apparently. That's, uh, interesting. Type what key, search for the object message, describe me, and type all cash out money. Press the F, uh, our key, and press press the things. Oh, it says. Long to get those lenses. Okay, so we need to pick up flowers. Hmm. That's when I lost points. Stay off the grass. If I happen to walk on the grass, don't you spoil this? Okay, so that's why I was in points. I was wondering why I was losing fucking points. There was no indication of why I was losing points. <laughs> so I probably should have, if I had read that, I probably would have understood that. Uh, yeah.
That's not what I need to know though is the bank. Really? No information about the bank. Okay, so I looked at this manual and there was no indication about my bank account. Okay, no information there. I was hoping that would tell me something about what I need, but it's not. It didn't tell me shit. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Okay, whatever. I guess I'll start over. Um, configure settings? What? Yes. Oh, okay. I can make full screen. Large screen. Uh... A large window. Okay. Full screen. Right. Start the full screen. That's what I want. All right, let's do this. Where did I start? Okay, there we go. Settings have been... Okay, I want to watch the intro again. I still don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do when it comes to the bank. The life and times of a great American hero. Jared Wilson. A young, ambitious city slicker, born and raised in urban America. But frankly, he's perfectly prim and proper. Caught in the trap of 925. He's this all time life has to offer. There's to be more. This man is ready for action. As at this moment, no longer would he accept only dreaming of a picture. is a good example of what's going to happen to you in this game. You're going to die a lot. Let me just skip that. Let me see that. So, we got a house key and a cash of $15. Okay. Look inventory. Okay. Inventory. Oh. Okay. Look key. This is the key to your residence, 10 Fred Street. Okay. Look. 
We have a fistful of cold cash. Okay, so that's all we have in our inventory so far. Right, let's look at the instead of you're in the heart of suburban Brooklyn. Year is 1848. Look, um, Water Street is very appropriately named. Getting around town's much easier since bridge's been built. Just look at these beautiful yards. The only street the city street to be no safer is to install these street lights. Because of these maple trees, it's a very shady neighborhood. Okay. Uh, Actually, we want to go. Let's go across the bridge first. See it's over here. Hmm. This is the beautiful downtown Brooklyn Park. There are fine lawns and flower arrangements. The sign says keep off the grass. Okay. So as long as we stay off the grass, we won't lose any points. Get out. Oh, not close enough. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and save my game now. Can you save? Get five. Got flowers. Hmm. So let's stay off the grass this time because we lose points for doing that. Okay, there's the bank again. I can go back to get the. Um, This time, we're going to save. Hopefully, we won't lose our um, points this time. As long as we stay off the grass, we should be fine. The grass is what caused us to lose points. Now that I know that, Okay. I'm just wandering around. Look. Okay. Okay, many times to turn. Do I need to put flowers there? Make a place for that? Okay. 
Okay. Toggles. Three times the last line typed. Which grave? Is it tell me which one I'm supposed to grow then? Read tombstone. Oh, read. Okay. That's not... What do they want me to do here? Okay. So I can't do that one. That's not the right person. I'm supposed to put flowers down for somebody. Okay. So I'll just look at the tombstone, but it won't let me go any further in this direction, so I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do here. Hmm. Again, I don't know which tombstone I'm supposed to be putting flowers on. You know, this game is um, super frustrating in that respect because I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Which flowers? Which tombstone is supposed to, like, look at? Which tombstone is supposed to give flowers to? I mean, there's no indication. You're supposed to just do it blindly and be like, yeah, that was it. But they're not going to tell you that that was it. I mean, yeah, you know, I, I do like challenge, but come on, man. Mm. It's got all my shit. I mean, I don't know if I've already, like, screwed myself out of the game. About winning the game or not. Am I supposed to sell my house? And how do you do that? Like, how do you sell your house? This thing. Oh, this is where you quit the game. This is where you quit the jab. Your jab. Yes, this is a. Yes, I got points for that, by the way. Okay, quit. So. Yeah, got two points for that. Two points for quitting my job. <laughs> Seriously, I got two points for quitting my job. I, I don't even know if I did that. I was supposed to do that. But I did it. And now I need to, I think, sell my house. Because, again, that doesn't make sense. Why would you sell the very property you only have? The, your only property you have. But, yeah, this guy apparently is insane. I'm assuming. Considering what they want to do. I need to sell my house. <sighs> Do 
I go here to sell my house. Yes. Did I get points for that? No. So I'm supposed to do that. Uh, does this is like I still got the house key though. Am I supposed to give him the key? So I put my house up for sale. Why I don't know. I need points for doing that though, which yeah. See if I can get my character to get hit by the uh, carrier. Yeah, there we go! It would be who you to move yourself out of the way of these wagons. Yep, you can die in this game. I wasn't sure, but yep, you can. Okay, then. No, oh, that was, um... Restart. Yeah. But we sweep, um... Put our job, and we need to go sell our house again. We need points for doing that, though, which is really surprising to me. I thought that I'd get something for that. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna look up. I'm gonna have a look up a walkthrough for this game, because goddammit, it's too frustrating. I mean, yeah, I'm sure it was fun back in the day. You know, figuring out what to do and everything back when, you know, you didn't have, like, icon-based gaming and shit like that. But I've, I've been spoiled during, because of Monkey Island and, um, hell, even King's Quest V, that typing in shit and just looking at random stuff just does not appeal to me. So... I am going to get my phone. Let me do that. And I am going to get hits. Because, yeah. Sorry, I'm not going to like take it. Let's do it. I earned six minutes. Well, I basically doubled. For like an hour and change. What a shock. I kind of figured I wouldn't get very far in this game. Um, just doing it blindly because, yeah, this game is not the type of game you want to do that with. Gold Rush. See your help pages. Okay. Okay, so I'm supposed to do this. So that's how you find your bank account number. God damn it.
God, this looks very frustrating as hell, dude. Oh, man. Yeah, this does not look like I'm gonna enjoy this game. I mean, I probably would have enjoyed it back in the day if this had been like one of those games. Like, like if I played this game back in the day, you know, and I had not been spoiled by King's Quest Five and Six and um, Secret of Monkey Island and all those other games, I might have enjoyed this game. But yeah, this is not something that really really appeals to me so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to play i'm just going to walk through and i'm going to play until i get my points you know until my thing until my timer runs out so let's see how this we start to get i'm going to skip up okay you start to get the bridge facing east, cross the bridge, and go down the screen. Okay, thank you for telling me that. Your house is on the corner. Oh, I see. Okay. So that's where we need to... Don't get hit by the ink and hold that. I found it out the hard way. Okay, unlock... There we go. Okay. Unlock door. There we go. Inside. Look at the album on the table. Okay. Memories, memories, memories. Every time you look at this album, it brings back memories. This album begins with a pain in your father and his best man, Mr. Quayle, the bank president, shaking hands after the wedding. You can't believe really what happened Mr. Quayle was during the years after your parents' death. He raised you and your brother Jake until you could be on your own. Here's a pain in your older brother Jake when he was just a baby. You have to take of Jake whatever he is and what he's doing. Just got his face painting the view. He must have been about 18 months old. And finally, you see a photo of your entire family together. You remember the excitement of posing together in front of the camera. It's a very, very special photo to you. Okay, well, that was cool. Now what? Uh, get the picture to bring back all those pictures. Okay. You got the one to bounce photo from the album. Okay, cool. We got six points for that. I mean, we're, we've got a total of six points so far. Okay, go over to the desk. It's a roll top desk. So roll the top. Right. Roll top. I don't know. I mean, that's what they're saying to do. Mm -hmm. The desk is open. Look in the desk. Okay, never mind. Okay. Roll top of desk. Okay. Roll top of desk. I don't know. I don't know what they want. Push top of desk. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck you people want. <laughs> Ugh. Okay. Okay. 
The crumpled bank statement are between the sides of the roll tap desk. Okay, cool. Read statement. Ooh, my count number is 209. Now I know what my account number is. That's helpful, I guess. Also, I know I have $209 in there. $200 in there. Okay. Okay, so now we need to leave the house then. Okay. Let's get out of here, man. Oh, okay, we leave the house and then we just... Okay, I got it. We just sell the house just right here. Just randomly just sell the house, okay. Okay, so we'll just stand around here until they, until someone asks to buy it. Because I don't feel like um, going off and then coming back. I'm just going to stand here. Hopefully the guy will just come back and I can just sell the damn house and move on. Wow, it sure takes a long time for this person to sell a fucking house, though. Seriously. So I guess I just stand here until someone decides they want to buy it. I didn't know it was going to take this fucking long, though. I would have thought, oh, and instantly someone wanted it. But no, I'm going to wait. And it would be nice to know who's going to actually buy the damn thing. Hey, there's some uh, buddy that probably wants the house. Okay, maybe not. I thought this dude wanted it. Maybe not. Okay. Do I need to talk to him, or is he just gonna like? Ah, yes, I will. Congratulations, Party Mouse Supreme. You conduct a prime sale. Your side your house is gone, but you always had the memories. As you can real estate man, she's your house. You say, Mr. Quill will come back. Why did I come back? Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and save here. I feel like that is a good, um, big task that we accomplished. Take the money. Walk west into the next screen. Go into the gazebo. Okay. Should be good. Next. Let's stay away from the... Uh, obviously, we don't want to step on the... Uh, Okay, now what? 
go into gazebo. Too busy though, so I should do that. Okay. Wait, was that supposed to? I guess I'm supposed to go... Okay, I need to... Get to flowers and in the gazebo. Why do we need a gold coin though? I mean, didn't we just get $850 for our house or... Or why did you get it? We only step on the grass because we need points for that. So, get flowers. Mm. Cool. Okay, we want flowers. Awesome. Now let's go back to Gazebo and get our. Uh, Oh shit. Oh, that's dumb. I stupidly just walked into the fucking grass. So, we need to go back and uh, restore our game because we stupidly did something that we weren't supposed to do. Okay, so I saved. I got the. Uh, so, let's go back to the Zeta now. It's just where we need to go, that's our next destination. This time let's save that we get to this part, because I don't want like, to lose points for stepping on the stupid, uh... Okay, Okay, I'm going to go ahead and save here. And then, I'm going to... Go back. Get those flowers, huh? Save again. Save often in this fucking game because yeah, it's easy to die. It's easy to lose points too because apparently, like you step on fucking the grass, you lose points for that. Yeah, don't ask me. I don't understand why either. Okay. Oh. Now, let's, uh, aha, okay, get the thing. Not sure why we were excited about one gold coin, but whatever. Okay, got the coin. Go west again, that's the post office in the corner. Going to ring the bell. You can ring my bell. You can ring my bell. 
Sorry, sorry, I probably just got flagged for like copyright infringement just now. <laughs> for singing that. Uh anyway, never mind. Um let's uh, go in here. Gotta ring the bell. So let's do that. Go in the post office. Ring bell. Ring a ling ling. What can I do for you, Sonny? Um, well, ask for mail. Um, um, mail for me? I don't know if it won't. Messages? Any messages? Oh my god, I don't know what they want. What do they want here? Oh my god, this is stupid. <laughs> this is stupid. Oh, there we go. I don't know what the fuck I did. God. The poster master exclaims, Good news, Jared! You have a letter! He places the letter on the counter. Cool. Yeah. Got me a letter. Read letter. Okay. Take letter. Thank you. Now read the letter. Jeez. I swear, man. Open letter. Read letter. January 25th, 1840. Jared, this is a great since you died. I live in the area drained by the American River. Today I buried Paul in a nearby cemetery. All you will understand. Come here quickly. Brother will Jake. Bring family photo from home so I know it's you. This is a letter from your long lost brother Jake. There are some interesting holes in it that look like they were confrontational. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Save. Well, I got that letter finally. I'm just trying to figure out what the fuck I'm supposed to do there. Okay. Is it what to scream? Would you able to cycle? Sutter Sport. Okay. Or Sutter Sport. Okay. Look, stamp. This is one of the first things used with stamps ever. You know, one under the stamp. Look, lock. Uh, look, under the stamp. I could not go quite a stand and find a gold flick. Jake has found gold! Alright, cool. Save there. Yeah. Okay. Lead the post office. Let's lead the post office then. So we've got what we wanted here. And then we need to go to the left and into the large white building. Okay. Oh, that's, oh, that's oh, there we go. Finally. Okay, so that is the newspaper building that we work at. Well, did work at. We're going to do a quick our job right now. So. Right, let's do that. Right. Right, let's quit our job. I don't know why we're quitting our job. 
It doesn't seem like a very rational thing to do, but eh, whatever. Last office at the bottom on the right. Okay, so we need to uh, look inside our office first. Where's our office? Where's our office? Damn it! Okay. Okay. It's up the stairs. Oh, it's up the stairs. Okay, we gotta go up the stairs. How do we go up the stairs, though? Oh. Oh, that's... Seriously, that, that's all you have to do to get up the stairs. Okay. Whatever. Um, I'm gonna see if... I mean, fall off of this. It's a... It's a... I, I'm disappointed, Sierra. I can't fall off of this. How dare you? Get off. I don't know. I guess they won't let me do that. Damn it. It's a Sierra game. We're supposed to be able to just, like, walk off of random surfaces and die. I'm, I'm disappointed. Zero out of ten. Okay. All right, um... Right. Go to your desk and look out at the blogger. Okay. Look. Okay. Blotter. Need the bloody found newspaper clipping sheet fighter. Okay, cool. Uh, Gen clippings. Okay, whatever. Read clipping. Jake was falsely accused of a crime we didn't commit. Owen Jake was promised a fair trial. The townspeople were issued justice. The result would have been a foregone conclusion. Jake's long term to leave town never come back. They left Brooklyn you wanted to go with him. Jake told you to stay because it may be dangerous. But you promised he would contact him something important. He left 11 years ago. You must have been very important. Must have happened very good to you. Okay, cool. We got points for that, I guess. Okay. I just stole about your brother. If you're planning on a trip, you'd better quit your job. Go down to the boss's office, the first on the left, and tell him you're quitting. Okay, I guess we'll go do that. That doesn't seem like a smart thing to do, but... Whatever. Okay, so we go down automatically, downstairs. Well, that's not very fun. This is a Sierra game. I'm supposed to, like... Fell to my death trying to climb stairs. I dare you. Jared, you're one of the best. But now, let's do what I'm honest to do. I'll the very best, Jared. We'll miss you around here. Okay. Save it. So, did what I'm supposed to do then? Oh, no. Really? Well, that sucks. I already... Oh, crap. Okay, so I don't do this fast enough, then. Great. Shit. So I... I already did it. I wasn't fast enough here. You've got to be quick about this. Great game. Yeah. I already can see that I'm not going to finish this game because... I don't like time limits. I don't like self-imposed time limits. Especially things that I'm not aware of time limits of. You know? Party is in town and dropping. Take a breath, you're past to California rising. Yes, I know. 
because I probably I wasn't fast enough to um, do what I needed to do. I probably should have gone to buy the yeah, ship ticket before I did all this. But then I don't have the money yet. I haven't actually bought the fucking. Yeah, so I, I mean, next step was to get the money. Yes. Well, I guess I'll continue, but maybe I should restore it. I don't think I screwed myself here. Oh, my God. So it happens right as we're starting. Oh my god, that's annoying. I'm going to have to redo this. Yeah, restart the game. Okay, well, at least I know what I need to do now. So let's let's speed up our character so he can move faster. Six. Okay, this is gonna get frustrating really quickly. Okay. Now I need to go back to the stupid thing again. Right, let's leave the house. Sell house. Anyway, save again because I don't like. Okay, so I, I can't go to the bank until I actually um get the money. So I have to wait and get that first. I could probably quit the my job after. I buy the tickets. So I kind of have to wait here. Got to buy to sell the house. So I'm gonna stand here until this guy wants to buy the house. This guy want to buy the house? Probably not. Okay, so that's Mr. Quail then. So that's who that dude is. At least we know who he is now. I thought that was just some random dude. Who's this guy? Hmm. So that's the teller that works at the bank. Okay. I still run into the 
guy that was going to sell, you know, to sell the house to yet. So annoying. That's Mr. Quail again. I need to sell my house, damn it. Where the fuck is the guy that's going to buy the house? $850. Come on, games. This is annoying. Like, how long do I have to wait here? Like, seriously. I, I, oh, here we go. There's the guy. Yes, I accept. I'm going to save again. Now I've got the money. Let's go uh, take the money out. So I'm gonna get that out of the way first. Actually, I actually want to get this money. So let's get that up. Look on the gazebo. Okay. Okay, you are a stupid game. Get the coin. God damn. Fine. Whatever. Okay. I should probably get those flowers too, but the flowers aren't that important yet, because the flowers are something I need to do later. But first, let's get the money at the bank. You got the, you got the, uh, yeah, we got the, we got the fucking, we got our account number, so we can go, uh, put that money, take that money in. Alright, so we're not depositing the money then, we're taking the money out. I see, so I probably could have just gone and get the fucking money out of the bank. Okay, get money. One, eight, six. Yay! We got the money. Twenty dollars, sir. Okay, cool. So we got that to add to the eight hundred something. Okay, um now that we've got that money. Okay, and head back to the, uh, okay, let's go fast. Okay. Oh, no, I don't want to talk to you again. Fuck off. Okay. Now I need to head back to the, uh, my ship. So let's go do that. Well, that's the cemetery one. Right, let's go quit our job real quick. I need to do that too. Quick job. Okay, cool. We got that done. We'll go and save again, I think. We probably should. I don't know how much time we have left. No, that's the wrong way to go. Anyway, why am I going that way? I don't know. 
What's the wrong line? Hmm. Hopefully that can cost us time. Let's go read the rainbow. Is it I said I need to ask? No, but okay. Okay, let's see. Tink letter. Open letter. Need letter. Prices go up. Okay, let's go do that. They said it's. Oh, damn it! Well, that was dumb. Well, that's annoying. So this time we will not do that. Maybe that's all we need to do that, but we need to be faster, but we also need to make sure that we don't, uh, yeah, we don't uh, end up killing ourselves over it. That's how we can take it, hopefully. Alright, uh, let's go back through here. This time we're not going to get hit because I'm not in the spot that we're going to hit. Okay. Oh, right, I need to read that poster first. Damn it. Okay, so I need to go find that poster first. Where the fuck is that poster at? Okay. Just. Okay, so maybe I shouldn't have put my jobs first, but I need to read that. Those clippings first. Damn it. Mm. See what I mean? It's like difficult to get all the points if you're not doing this the right way. Similarly. I'm not going to go this, like, step by step.
because you don't have to kill the main. So you can quit early and then go back in and read the fucking clip of the manual. Go north and turn left into the warehouse. Seven minutes and thirty four seconds. Oh, well, we're doing good then. It's apparently like it says. Okay, so 14 minutes into the game, the gold rush starts. So we still got tons of time right now. But we gotta be fast about to still go. I already dealt with photo stuff, so we're done with that shit. Go west and walk into the land. Imagine the crack. <sighs> okay. It's being shit. I've already got the that. So I just need to get the flowers. Oh shit, I screwed up. Alright, let's go. Uh... Did I already quit my channel? I forget. Oh yeah, I think I already did this. Let's see, do I have money here? I think I already got money. So I got down below and all this shit. So now I need to go back and head back to. Okay, so I'm gonna walk. I need to get the. I got my coin on there. Right about the one, so. I just need to. Uh, 
let's get that damn get flower. How are we doing in time? Seven minutes. Oh, that's pretty good. We're not doing too bad then. As long as we can get done with all this shit before the 14 minute time limit, we should be fine. Okay. I've already got uh, the flowers. Okay, I'm going to put my job. back and drop to the top right. Okay, so they will still let me go in my office. I'm going to quit my job. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm cool with that, I guess. Seems silly, but whatever. But they're gonna let me read my newspaper clippings and shit? Okay, I'll share it. They're just gonna not acknowledge that I quit my job then. Okay, cool. I mean, I'm I'm cool with that. That I can still look at my shit even when I quit my job. But uh, okay. Um, read clippings. I already read all that shit, so we're done with that. Cool. Now, that last time, so we got eight minutes. Oh, shit. Okay, I already read the, already got the, uh, already got the newspaper. I already mean, got the news, the, the letter. I already take the mail. You already got the money. Exit the bank with the cash. Go north and turn left into the warehouse. Okay. Wait, did I go dead? Oh no, it's just sleeping. Okay, so I need to go north. Got right or So we're at the bank, right? Then go north and turn left. So let's go do that. There we go. Whoop. In here. Just go in there. I guess. No, this is in it. Where the fuck is the warehouse? Where's that warehouse I'm supposed to go to? Must have gone the wrong way. Okay, I guess I just go north then. We go north. Okay, screw you. Ah, here we go. This is what we were looking for. How are we doing on time? Nine minutes. God damn. Okay, I need to look at poster. Family good, top left. Okay. 
No, I'm just kidding. Okay, cool. That one's for there. Cool. Get that one out of here. Quickly. What was this I need to do next? Okay, look post tricks to where else. Walk south thrice and east of the main area of the cemetery. Okay, so we need to head to the cemetery next. Alright, whatever. South, okay, once and then twice. Three times, I'm guessing. Okay, let's Oh, thrice is four times, I guess. Or maybe I'm wrong. Uh, hmm. It's the... There's only one thing about the top left. So... Top left? That's the top right, isn't it? That's got to be the... That's got to be it there, isn't it? Let's see. Oops, is it? That's it! Okay, cool. You got a point for that. That's going to okay. And then we'll put flowers down. Okay, I already knew that, but thanks for telling me that again. Okay, we're doing on time now. Oh, oh button mounts, okay, we're gonna do some shit quickly. Make a separate save here. Now choose your own cake horn. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and save it again then. F5. Um, call this. Um, animal. Okay. Cool. Let's head back to. Because now we can do one of the paths we're going to choose. And now I'm going to take us to the same place, but... Uh, to say... Go ahead. It's good. It needs to make it open. Okay, now we need to go north from there and walk these three times. Hopefully that's correct. Go north and walk these three times. I'm hoping that's correct. Let's That was dumb. Ugh. So much fun. That's so dumb. I don't understand why. Okay, where am I supposed to go then? I don't know where I thought it was three times. Okay, so go back to the newspaper building and then. Go north. Go 
more. Walk east three times. It says, I've been getting some busy work posts in the house. Joe, what can I help you with today? Hmm. Buy a ticket. Buy a ticket. We'll never find a cheaper time to travel, Jared, and. There is room on the ship. The route to California around Cape Horn by way of Panama. The price of Panama route $900, Cape route $650. Okay, so you can only get one time. That's why you can only, because uh, you, you spend the money you want, you won't have enough money to buy it again. So, hmm, I guess we'll do the Panama first. So we'll do Panama first, then. Yes. Panama. Pinama Okay. Uh, I said yes already. That'll be not in cash, please. Hey. Thanks, Jared. Your ticket. I'll be striking rich. Ooh. I'm gonna save this under the one. Okay, cool. How much time do we have? Oh, we've already bought the tickets. Okay, so after the door was starting. We've got to show them the ticket. That's what it is. We turn west past the news agency and go north into a women's hardware store. Counter. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to be finishing this game today. I'm just going to be doing it a little bit and then we're going to be like ending this. I mean, I wanted to do this legit, but after I saw all the insanity that was involved in doing it legit, I'm like, uh, I mean, I would be excited about this if I, you know. There's too many things that because I screw up. I mean, I get it. It's a Sierra game, and that was common with them a lot. But seriously, it's just super annoying. Okay, let's go past the new agency then. Which is probably... Where we're standing, we won't get hit by stagecoach, thankfully. Okay, so let's head back to the... Uh, go west past the loose, let's see. Where do we need to go? Go north. Go north. Yeah, I used to know like that's the right. Focus thing to Okay. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I've seen that the right way it's supposed to go. But, uh, what's it? Okay, now I'm not stuck on it. Shit. Now, how are you supposed to get to this stupid, uh... Go north. Go north. I can't go north. There is nowhere to go. No. Okay, this is the wrong place then, apparently. I could have sworn this was the wrong place. Oh my god, I just got killed by a horse, really? That's... I should have expected that, though. It should have... Really should have expected that, considering it's a CO game, and, uh, yeah. Still need to buy the stupid materials and shit that I need to buy, but I haven't found the hardware store. Like seriously, what the fuck is the hardware store? Let's pass this and then go north. It won't let me go north again. Let's see. Got that. That's stupid, man. Okay. Uh. I mean, it would be nice to figure out what I'm supposed to do here. It says, rest past the news agency, which I was going there, and then it tells me to go north, and there's nowhere to go. And I can't go north, it's impossible. I mean, I'm what they want. I mean, unless... Yeah. Maybe the, the uh, hardware store is over here. Hey, look. What do you know? Yes. Is there something I can do for you? Yes. There is, really, as a matter of fact. Buy it. I'll charge your account. Good. Cool. I want to at least get myself two pen at least. Or at least out of this town. Go east until you reach the bank and north. Shit. I'm doing time. Thirteen minutes. Oh shit! I need to get the fuck out of here quickly. Go east. What's it say? Go east. To the bank. North. Onto the ship. Wait on it until the flash. Ch 
should be leaving a show ticket. Oh, yeah! You have 60 out of 60. Congratulations! Okay, cool. Got points for that. Yay! So we're taking off on the boat. Cool. The panel route, since most cases it's the most expensive route, generally attracts a slightly more sophisticated passenger. But the general has no respect for sophistication. I'm surprised this. Some of these people haven't seen a hundred days work in their entire lives, they're jumping that far away from mother. But nonetheless, it has become the route taken by New York brokers, Philadelphia lawyers, Boston bankers, and big city doctors. The captain advises passengers that it will take approximately two to three weeks to get to the real Chagres. Okay. There's one way to this route of the Cape Horn route. It normally takes less time to get the route. Getting to that California gold as soon as possible. That is, if it goes right, you are taking a big chance of catching a route of such a side of the business. You also could take the Panamanian jungle. Mm -hmm. As you travel to the south, you look against two eyes. You need to see your first glimpse of the Panamanian coastline. Is one of green lines and broadly from people to see. There are a few coral islands or reefs that are counter meticulously many of around. The scenes you see is as always but it would be just as difficult to walk across the Isthmus today as was for Balboa centuries ago. Near the mouth of the Rio Chagres are ancient Spanish, Scottish, and English forts, now in ruins. The most famous of these is for Juan Sorenzo, hidden by the dense jungle, are many more that are now visible. Other cities and fortresses which once flourished are now overgrown and hidden. No one knows where they are. Ships around from all over the world are not allowed to dock on the Caribbean side of this Just as I go offshore, which results in the past year's having to pay exorbitant prices to native business people who arrive ashore. You will ride ashore 40 miles up the shore. You will us in small wooden boats. Offshore, we can <laughs> Oh, I see. We're taking now. Uh... The crooked river wind winds its way through a deep canyon with steep walls covered with vegetation. In the jungle is ever silent. There is an underlying humming rustling, the sound of water dripping, birds are squawking, monkeys are chattering, things you can't see are crashing and crumbling. Welcome to the jungle! We're going to have fun games! The wildlife is breathtaking. Monkeys are seen swimming in the trees, alligators are standing on sunny on lawns, jaguars stalk the shore, flamingos, pelicans, eagles, blue and white bronze, and vultures stalk the sky. Now, the creatures you can't see, they're watching you. Like, um, like wolves. They're hungry, like a wolf. <laughs> Sorry, that was really bad. Um, I don't know the rest of the words. 
it's suck. Insects in Babylon are not just a nuisance, they carry dreaded deadly diseases. Yeah, like damn fire ants. At times, it is necessary to get out of the boat and drag it through shallow portions of the river. We don't want to touch the jungle plants. Some have poisonous juice, some have foreign spikes, some have blades of sun and sharp as swords. Your sweat continues. The temperature may only be 40, 85 degrees Fahrenheit, but the air is saturated with perfectly still. All around you, the smell of hot, wet, rot, and vegetation. You begin to wonder what you're about, what the comforts of broken. Yeah, I begin to wonder that too. What the fuck was that? Smart. That didn't seem smart, in my opinion, but uh, whatever. This game really hates you. It wants you to suffer. Uh oh. The lead native on the shore yells, Wingo, Bingo, Gabba, Zumba, Bumba, Wa, Ratsa, Sloth, Gonga. The guy interprets. The leader the native said, Give us all your invited possessions. If you do, we will let you live. Eh, uh, fuck, I guess we will. God damn it. The leader of this continues. Hoppa, Dunga, No, Boo Boo, Yo Yo, Gambi, Krumba, Su, Mackerel. The gun trips, if we don't, they will kill us as dead as a mackerel. Gun trips, I don't think they're bluffing. Do you think we should get more valuables? Yes. You don't think I need to know, we'll cooperate. The guy says to the natives. Arango, Yomza, Nuro, Munda, Yozawa, Oran, Bozum, whatever they like it. We will turn to your pocket, you two pocket, you damn it, keep it there. Don't forget brighter games in your ship. Hit pocket, along with the gold plate that we stand, you keep that there. Your family throws in your pocket, so you keep that. Everything else you have with you is thrown off to the shore. We would manage to run with the food block on the shore. Alright. The leader of the native says, Mumbo, Allah, Jumba, Ya, Sonna, Boomba. Mongo, so Luba, Luba. What the fuck you just said? No, I did. Walk up to him under the tree and talk to the man. Okay. The guy interprets our head with actually. We're free to go. Hmm. That seems stupid that we lost our shit. For portions 20 mile walk to Panama City, you were traveling on a road, road built centuries ago by the Spaniards. In the early days of their conquest, this road was used to transport treasures across the isthmus. It was called Camino Real, meaning Royal Road. The general jungle is barely being all. Barely being all. You barely see the sky until I see the direction. The person accustomed to the jungle cut out, so it's lost on the people on the road. When now the primitive Spanish road, you're walking a touch jungle, treading on mud or wet squashy leaf mold, crawling over fallen trees, cutting your way through the vegetation. It's difficult to get the road, even using the most common effective tool in the jungle, a machete. There is nothing in that jungle but snakes, alligators, tigers, pumas, jaguars, vampire bats, tarantulas, scorpions, and stinging centipedes. Yeah, why the fuck are we here anyway? I seem seems stupid for us to come through here. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I should have just said Pookie. Okay, there's a man there's a tree that I need to talk to. Let's walk up to him. Can I do that? Oh no, it can't be. Not the dreaded jungle ants. Well, I'm dead. Well, I'm fucking dead. I'm dead. But,
have to see this again? I guess they want me to see this again. Okay, whatever. So, all right, we're not allowed, so let's get that. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna wonder that too. Why the hell is he, is he stupid enough to do that? Oh, here we go. Here's where we die again. Yes, yes. Yeah, we can't control ourselves yet here, so we gotta wait. All this shit, and we read all it. How do I talk to this guy? Just a back straight in the top. I wish there's something I could do for you. Well, there's something I can do. Take this book. It may be helpful to you. A book? Really? Continue on the path up to the barn. There will be killer ants coming, so if we jump by. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Shit, dude. What the hell is this crap? Okay, so... Fuck you, Ants. Take the most normal one by staying or staying at the top of the screen. Halfway across the screen will hit something. Take the most normal one by always staying. Oh. 
Okay. to go. This is stupid. I, I do not approve this. Yeah, I can see why I uh, never did this game legit back in the day. God damn, it's really ridiculous. From insanity to do, do. Okay, wait. This is a... Start on the cookie you sink. But well, I was dumb. Oh, I didn't save all that. God damn it. So now I'm gonna do all that over again. Crap. Okay. Let's go read this. Let's get this. Talk this guy down. Talk man. Okay, and once we get done with the poisonous ants, we're gonna save our game again. It's a gold disc there. Alright. Continue to the next screen. Continue to the next screen. Which, which is the next screen? Just anything? Just anything. I'm guessing this is where we need to go, huh? Okay, now what? Say and look across without dying. But how are we supposed to do that, though? How are you supposed to know which way you're supposed to go? Is this just like random shit? Yeah, it's just random shit. Of course it is. Okay. 
Of course it's random shit. Of course it is. This is... Oh. Well, that was... Last time. Oh, fuck. How are you supposed to know which way you're supposed to go? Is it just like random shit? Yeah, it's just random fucking shit. Oh my god, this is stupid. Yeah. I... Yeah, I'm not gonna finish this game. This is insanity. This part, like, wow. Like, seriously. It's a fucking maze, and you've got to be like... One of those, like, you know... You've got to be, like... Pixel perfect to get across there. Ah, it's just, it's just not fun for me. Sorry. So, that's as far as we're gonna get in Gold Rush. I, um... I mean, I, I have, it's an interesting game, and it probably would be fun if I wasn't so fucking difficult. I mean, this wasn't so fucking difficult, I wasn't so terrible at it. But that's, that's the end of my playthrough of Gold Rush. <laughs> um, Monday, I will be um, doing some more Mega Man Maker levels. Tuesday, I'll be playing The Little Mermaid for the NES. Wednesday, I'll be continuing with Sandwich of the Night. Thursday, a bad game. I haven't decided which one. Friday, well, I've decided to switch my Friday Night Fighter themed Friday for first person shooter Friday. So, the first of many first person shooters that I'll be looking at will be Catacomb uh, 3D. So, I mean, Catacomb 3D, I think, is what it's called. So I'll be playing that this Friday. And then, of course, Saturday, we will Resident Evil. I may be finishing that off this Saturday. I don't know. And Sunday, since I'm not going to be doing Gold Rush anymore, will be another game. Again, I don't know what that game will be yet, so you'll have to wait and see for that. But anyway, that's all for now. And as usual, I'm going to do post my Twitch account. And just so far, my YouTube account, child me is to be one. But that's all for now. Bye bye. Yeah, we never want to continue playing this game of series. <laughs>